Thousands again turned out to remember a violent night in 2010 when people were killed trying to bring aid to Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. This seventh anniversary is different as Israeli and Turkish governments have agreed to restore their relationship after an apology and a $20 million compensation deal. It is not good for Turkey. It is not a good agreement. The second, we are not happy because of the Mavi Marmara. Because one of the main requests of the all participants, all the peoples, they have put their lives on the Mavi Marmara, the punishment of the killers. The killers now, they are free. For many of the marchers, this event is about commemorating those who died. There are fewer people marching this year, perhaps because this anniversary falls during Ramadan. And also because six months ago, the Turkish courts threw out cases against Israeli military leaders after they'd been accused of unlawfully killing nine Turkish men and one Turkish-American seven years ago. Also in the past year, the Turkish government is focusing on commercial deals with Israel. There's still plenty of anger at how a humanitarian effort to try and break an Israeli blockade on Gaza led to bloodshed. Israeli army footage shows how commandos, under the cover of darkness, tried to board the six ships in the flotilla. Fighting quickly escalated. Israel said it wanted to check the ships didn't contain weapons or cash for Hamas and had said the flotilla should land at one of its ports. The repercussions of the incident led to inquiries in Turkey, Israel and the United Nations. Relatives and their supporters are still angry and still want prosecutions. Israel has been criticized internationally for using excessive force in 2010 and boarding aid ships which were outside Gaza's blockaded area. Gaza is still occupied. The blockade continues as there is no electricity and people cannot live normally. We wanted to help by bringing aid in the Mavi Marmara. If the blockade continues, then why did the government sign this agreement? There's no support for the Turkish-Israeli agreement among these demonstrators. And despite the compensation being paid to Turkey's treasury last September, they say not one cent has yet been paid to the victims' families. Yolo Aftavid, TRT World, Istanbul.